What is a desktop? Now with computers, there are two meanings to the word desktop. The first meaning is in reference to the type of computer, such as this. The other meaning for desktop is the area that you see right here. This does not include the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. It is just the area behind it. The desktop is very similar to any other folder on the computer. You can save files and folders to it, with a few exceptions. Some of those exceptions include never being able to close it. It is always open. You can also change the desktop background to a different image or color to make it nicer to look at. And you can create shortcuts on it to open programs more quickly. Let's take a look at how to use the desktop. On my desktop, I have a few different icons that are saved onto it. Your computer will have different icons in mine. All Windows 7 computers will have an icon called Recycling Bin that is on the desktop. If you are unfamiliar with the Recycling Bin, it is the area where all files go before they are permanently deleted from the computer. For example, if I want to delete the file called Test that is saved onto my desktop, all I have to do is click on it and go down to Delete on the list that pops up. Notice that the icon for the recycling bin has changed to look like it has something in it. To view the contents of the recycling bin, just double click on it. You can see that the file is now located in the recycling bin and has not been permanently deleted from the computer. If I want to permanently delete the file from the computer, I would click on the button that says empty the recycling bin. This would also delete any other files that are in the recycling bin. If I deleted the file by accident, and I wanted to move the file back to its original location, I would click on the button that says Restore All Items. You can see that when I did this, it moved the file back to the desktop. I'm going to close the recycling bin by going to the X on the top right of the window. The desktop also gives me the ability to create files and folders and save them directly to it. To do that, just right click anywhere on the desktop. On the list that pops up, go down to New. This is where we can select what we want to create on the desktop. I'm going to go down and click on Text Document. Notice that on the desktop, a new icon appeared with the name highlighted and ready to be typed in. You can name yours whatever you prefer. I'm going to call mine Document. Now you just created a file on your desktop. There is other ways to create files and save them to your desktop, which we will learn about in a later video. Now let's create a shortcut on the desktop. To do that, go down to the Start menu and click on All Programs. Now select the program that you want to create a shortcut for. I'm going to create a shortcut for Internet Explorer. To do that, right click on the program. In the list that pops up, go down to Send To, then go over to Desktop. You can see that next to it, it says Create Shortcut. Now an icon for Internet Explorer has shown up on the desktop, and when I click on it, the program runs. I'm going to close this program by going to the X in the top right. When you look at the shortcut icon, you can see that it has a little arrow on it. This means that it is a shortcut. So what is a shortcut? A shortcut is just a link to the actual program that is saved on the computer. I'm going to navigate to the area that Internet Explorer program is located on the computer. These are the actual files that make up the program. Now you don't need to go here, I just want to show you that when I delete the shortcut from the desktop, that it does not delete the program from the computer. It works the same way for the programs that are listed on the Start menu. If I was to delete one of these, it would just delete the shortcut in the Start menu and not the actual program. The desktop also has its own folder on the computer. To get to it, go down to Start, 
and then up to your user folder. You can see that in the user folder, there is a folder called desktop. And when I open it, you can see the same folders, files, and shortcuts that are on the desktop. When I create a new folder in here, it also creates one on the desktop as well. The last thing that I want to show you on the desktop is how to display or remove icons like the recycling bin. Because you may notice that when I right click on it, there is no delete option on the list. To change them, just right click anywhere on the desktop and go to personalization. On the window that opens, go to change desktop icons. To change the icons on the desktop, just check or uncheck the icons that you want and then click OK.